Hey, you know, I've been thinking a lot about 2020 and what we can expect in 2021. And here's the bottom line. The future is better than we think. 2020 was a horrid year, including for myself, um, being dismantled as, uh, essentially business-wise and facing lots of fam family and social issues like most of you did. And, but we've learned so much this year. For example, we've learned what is important to us, other humans, trusting the state, right? having a vision of the future, trusting science, figuring out what's important. Now all of a sudden we realize, you know, what's a lot more important than GDP and growth and profit is how we're going to go into the future together. How are we going to be prepared? You know, how do we act with solidarity? And we've learned how useless some government officials are and leaders, so-called leaders, when it's about a real response, a human response, a scientific response, and we've taken action. Right? We've changed so many things and we've changed our worldview, and now there's a new decade unfolding with a new principle. And the new principles are about creating something that works for everybody. It's about taking care of things before they happen, and this will have great impact on climate change. And we've learned so many other things about what is great and what's not great. Technology is great, yeah, Zoom is great, but hugs are greater. And we've learned so many things about how to use technology. It's been a mind-boggling experience. And we're not going to go back to what was normal before. We're not. The normal is behind us. We're moving into another world, a, a combination of new normals, better normals. Let's be hopeful about what comes out of this crisis. Uh, as long as we're still hopeful about our life in general, I think we're moving into a direction of where we can implement new things and we've been forced to, to reboot and restart. So this is why I think next year and the decade from 2021 to 2030 will be a powerful change in decade. In fact, I think we are at the fork in the road in human history. We're going to decide on our future all in the next 10 years. We're going to decide how to deal with climate change because the climate change crisis will be a thousand X of COVID, probably more than that. And now we know what COVID did and not what not being prepared actually means. We're going to move into a future where we're going to prepare, we're going to take action maybe a little bit earlier and before it actually happens. So first climate change. The second one is, of course, the role of technology. We're now realizing how powerful technology is and can be, and we're going to keep on using it, we're going to keep on exponentially growing, but we're also going to ask for controls, privacy controls, data controls. Uh, we're going to go very much on the topic of digital ethics and how to not have technology be too much of a good thing. That's already happening uh, with the European Commission and also in the States, but next year will be the battle of keeping technology for the good. And all you have to do is watch, of course, um, the social dilemma to get uh, the background of that story. On the third one, we're going to think a lot about intelligent machines. And this, this next decade will show artificial intelligence like GPT-3, the latest development, mind-boggling achievements that have very little to do with intelligence, but all with smartness. Right? Intelligent assistance will be the key word for the future. It will not take away our intelligence. It will not displace our jobs, at least not on the, on the overall level. Right? It will force us to move up the food chain and to reinvent. And on the fourth topic, uh, to change human programming, to change who we are by genetic engineering and the convergence of technology and biotechnology, uh, that is going to be the biggest thing for this decade. We're going to reinvent healthcare and medical and pharma. And that's going to be so exciting in so many ways. It's going to have so many benefits. It's going to bring down the price. It's going to really change the game. We're finally going to go to healthcare, not just sick care. Right? And on the final piece for the next decade, geoengineering, changing how the earth is working so that we can fix what we have broken. You know, that's going to be a huge debate about how we do all these things. The bottom line is, I see this already happening next year and also the next decade. As we're moving into the future, we will have all the tools we need. We will have all the science, we'll have the tech, uh, we'll have the capabilities in the next 10 years unfolding quantum computing, 5G, 10G networks, Internet of Things, intelligent computing, voice control. We will have all the tools we need, but will we make the right decision? This is why we are the fork in the road next year and for the decade, and I believe we're going to take the right intersection. Because 
you can always trust on humans to do the right thing after we figured out everything else, after we tried everything else. That's riffing off Winston Churchill. So I think we're going to make the right choices. And this will be all about wisdom and leadership and governance. And now we have new leaders, young leaders. Look at New Zealand, look at Iceland, look at Taiwan, right? uh, look at Switzerland. Right? We're going to see a new paradigm unfolding of people, planet, purpose, and prosperity based on technology. We will have all the right tools, but we must make the right decisions. Let's start next year. I wish you all great holidays and a happy 2021 and a great future. And I hope to see you there whenever it is. Thank you.